if you are one of the few humans left on the planet who has somehow escaped the gravitational pull of the song that has quickly become as ubiquitous as the element it's named after. Spoiler, water! Your days are numbered! Soon after Tyla's now hit was uploaded to the internet last July, its uniquely hot vibe catapulted her monthly Spotify streams to 29 million and infiltrated every single one of my playlists. So the accompanying choreography spawned a whole pop culture moment of its own on TikTok. Even as a 37-year-old mom, I found myself playing it on repeat while popping that thing everywhere from the beach to the winelands during my COVID redo honeymoon in sunny South Africa earlier this year, I soon became fascinated with this new global pop or popiano, if we're being technical more on that later, star from South Africa. And it wasn't just because of the shiny new self-titled debut album and freshly won Grammy. It was also because she sparked nuanced conversations around the world about racial identity simply by being who she is, a proud member of the colored community of South Africa. More on that later too. Something that's even more powerful than a chart-topping track.